Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to another episode on the Truly Bedrock server. That's right, guys, we're back and we're ready for a brand new episode. I am in a good mood today, and I'm also feeling very motivated. So the first thing we're going to do today has to do with those guys right behind me. We're going to make a little hut, a house, a uh, broken down, like dingy looking surrounding for our villager breeder that will set off the tone for this entire area and i'm pretty excited so you know what top of the episode let's hop in to a third person time lapse and get this thing started So after fiddling for a few hours and going into creative world and just trying to figure out the shape, I think this has turned out pretty well. We are not done with the detailing I have started, but this is what we have and this is kind of the feel that I'm going for. I wanted to still, you know, keep within certain parameters of the base. So I kept some of the block palette from each of the areas. So. We have the warped wood like we have in our towers. We have a strong spruce wood vibe. We have it in every single one of our builds. And I kept the brick roofs from my villager area that way. So I think it kind of is different enough because we have brought in the stone. Obviously this is not textured yet. I'm going to break it down and make it look more dilapidated. I think that'll help a lot. But for now, this is the shape that we have and I really like it. I love this chimney. And now that the building is here, I cannot wait to start the terraforming over here. I think once we add in the new tree type, once we get a bunch of like rock formations over here and really start making it look muddied and dirty, that it's going to bring this whole new vibe into the area. I'm not sure yet if I want to add more houses over here or if I want this to kind of be like a hidden spooky shack in the middle of the forest, because I think that might be fun, just having the one house just in the middle of a nice wooded area, maybe have like a little clearing around it and then just have it all encompassed all the way around. I don't know, I, I think that I'll have to sit on it for a little bit and, and decide, but for now I'm going to just work on the detailing a little bit more and then I'll come back when uh, it's time to move on to something else today. After a little bit more time, we have done a bit of work over here. So as you can see, we have added the tree and I really like it. I think that this kind of tree is going to look really nice in this area. I think that adding the oak leaves with the dark oak like they are naturally just really makes it like pop. Plus it gives a nice bit of color to like the weird grungy palette that we have. I just think overall this is going to look really nice plus we're going to have the trees that we have over there like the nether type trees we're gonna have those and then I think we're also gonna have a variety of stick tree over here just a nice really dense forest with these little puddles of mud 
like just this nice kind of really dingy looking area I think that that will make all of the difference over here really give this kind of a swampy feel and by adding the spruce leaves in the floor I think that that's going to give it something completely different and I'm really looking forward to how this turns out but alas I think the next thing we're gonna do is actually head over to one Mr. Slack Lizard's base because for about, I don't know, a month or two now, he's been asking, you know, hey, if anyone wants to come over and build a house over there, like a nether style house, go ahead so that, you know, it'll be cool. And I think I have the perfect design. We are here at Slack's base and I had this, you know, epic time lapse for you because I was like you know what I'm just gonna jump right into it and we're going to do this house at slack space it's gonna be wonderful and then uh the server decided that I was going to have the most epic lag in the history of all lag and all of the footage came out super jumpy and basically just unusable. So unfortunately, this is going to be a progress update. And by progress, I mean it's almost all done. So <laughs> this is the house that I decided to build. I wanted to kind of tie in like a different style because we have different houses here, right? Dadcraft's house over here is like very like black and teal and I really liked it. And so I kind of wanted to continue this feel right here. I, I decided I was going to use his roof style with a little bit more of a uh, rounded feel. I kind of wanted to give like different roof angles since Foxy did like these well, high hole, <laughs> these different angles, right? So I came over here and I did the same type of roof except for a little bit more overhanging. And then I had the different roof angles by adding a little bit of a spire here. I was going to make this much taller, except for you see that wall back there. That's actually the outside. So <laughs> I couldn't exactly make it much taller because then my house would have been on the outside of Slack's base. And, you know, I didn't think that he would appreciate griefing very much. If we go up here, you will see we have this nice little angled door. I thought it was cute. I inside have this floor with a wall and this is kind of where we're sitting so far. I was going to do the interior and maybe that's what we will do on camera because I feel like you guys got gypped. I mean, <laughs> I didn't I didn't get much done. So, let's see what we can do here. If we take out this, maybe pull our decor box, um, maybe our log box, and what else? How can I decorate this? There isn't much room for a bedroom per se. I, I think that this is kind of tight quarters because on the opposite side of this wall is, again, the outside. <laughs> so let's see what we can do. I really wanted to get a tall loft, but, you know, that's okay. If we come in here, we do have these. We have some flower pots. Maybe use this for a bookshelf. Um, some chests. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Do I have any bone mill on me? Because what I could do. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, nope, I have some in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some of these as the decor. Maybe like one of those and one of those. Because it is me, we will be using multiple flower pots. So I'll take this and we're going to do something nice and cozy. I know it's supposed to be like a nether build, but I don't care. We're going to do something, something nice and sweet, I think. And, hmm, do I want to go with, I do, I think I want to go with some, 
of this maybe with do we have any trap doors I don't think we do um do I have oh I don't have a you know what there don't have a crafting bench I will make one so we're gonna do this and right here specifically is a good place for maybe like a little dining room set. So if we come over here, we'll do one of those with one of those. Give ourselves a nice little seating area with, do we have, we do. Gonna go like this and give ourselves a nice little, nice little area. Or what we could do, do I have, do I have a, let's see. Because we could do this instead, right? Have that. And then put that there. So a nice little torch on the side. That might look cute. And <laughs> sorry, I, I'm thinking out loud. But if we do this, um, okay, let's just put that there, right? I don't want that one. I want the other one. Oh. Really, man? Gimme. This <laughs> really does not like me. There we go. That's a little bit better. Just something nice and decorative. Maybe what we could do. Now that I was just seeing that though. Let's do. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And then on. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. I should be able to put one on top of here. Can I? with one of those. And that gives us a nice little cozy corner. I mean, this is such an awkward space, but I think we could probably make something usable if we do something like this, right? And then do one of those. I, I'm so, I know that I'm like really quiet while doing this, but I think I have an idea. And if I have the idea and don't get it out, it will feel kind of silly. So let's... Let's go like this and like that. And then one of those and one of those. So if I do that and then it gives us just a nice little like diagonal something to look at that isn't quite straight on. It breaks it up and makes it really nice for like aesthetics just it, it breaks it up enough that when you're looking at it you aren't thinking oh okay well this is a this like looks funny so let's add that there and then do one of those with what did I use I used a spruce trapdoor so if we do that with a little asymmetrical doohickey there, 
there. Look, it's coming together. We're using the space. I know there's no bed, but you know what? That's fine. We'll make it work. <laughs> what I could do actually is, hmm, I could bring this out a little bit and then I don't know how you would get up there though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around and I will come right back. And just like that, we are done in here. I actually really like how this came out. I don't know what it is about like doing interiors, but I just, they make me happy. I have this cute little area. We have a furnace with just some bookshelves, a little bit of storage over here, a painting, a sofa, a rug, no bedroom. <laughs> I will figure something out maybe. I, I don't know. I was trying to figure out a way to make this work and maybe just have like a ladder right here so then you could step up. But that seemed kind of silly, so I, I'm not sure. Uh, if I do something, I'll show you a picture. Or <laughs> I'll show you a picture. If I do something, I will cut to it. But if not, this is kind of its final form. I just It's simple. It's nice. And I'm pretty happy with it and I can't wait for Slack to see it to see if uh, he likes it. It's a little bit different but hopefully that you know helps him because I know he wanted more to fill in this area. We're finally back at the base and I have to say I have gotten a little bit more done here. We have another tree just really kind of bringing to this area and I'm quite happy with it but unfortunately because of all of the issues I have had on the server this past week, pretty much, it's been super laggy. I've been having a terrible time trying to get everything put together. I am out of time. So this is probably going to be a pretty short episode, and I'm really sorry for that. But hopefully next week I can figure out kind of what's going on with my computer, figure out if it's just that I'm too far away from the server or what, because, you know, I, I like being able to get on here and actually record. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate you. I love your faces and I will see you in the next episode of Truly Bedrock. Bye guys. <laughs>